So today we're going to talk about Kuta. Kuta, Kuta and Legian. Kuta is a little bit confusing. Technically, Semenyak is part of Kuta as well, but... Technically, Jinbaran is part of Kuta. We're going to cover near Kuta Beach and Legian. And this is also a very confusing area because someone fell in love in this lifestyle and other just find it horrible. It's a pretty divisive <laughs> place in terms of its yes. personality. I personally find it very enjoyable. Yes, we have lived in Legian for two months and we loved it. It yeah. was really nice area. The great pro of this area is vibe, especially in the evening. Lots of locals, varungs and local people coming from other parts of Bali or other parts of Indonesia and just having fun, enjoying, having dinner, enjoying live music. There's so much live music. It's a wonderful feeling to see all these, um, you know, local people enjoying community, mm -hmm. gathering around, having conversation. There are lots of options for food, lots of local food, which are very affordable. Uh, lots of varungs. I tried the best tuna in my life in <laughs> Hole in the Wall. We were invited by friends that we just met. They played in a band here and so we went to this tuna place and then they're just grilling it outside and it's fantastic. It's, it's really so cool. Good. And it was like, what, like 30K? 30K <laughs> for, I don't know, like that? Yeah, a big piece of tuna jaw. And then 50K for, for a, a, even a larger piece. piece. There are Western options as well. And there are chain restaurants like, I don't know how to call them, like fast food Yeah, they chains. have. A, they do have, Kuta has and Legian have, both have fast food chains. Western cafe food too. Yes, um, uh, not as many as uh, Semiak has or Changu. We really like Crumb and Coaster mm -hmm. and uh, Branch Club is not, not bad as well. And another thing is, we started surfing in Legian Beach. 7 a.m. surfing. Great. It's a great place for beginners, so we decided to start there. We found amazing surf school. All links will be in the description because yeah. this guy's amazing. The vibe is just incredible and they good teachers. But, you know, in addition to teaching classes, they're just spending their days out there chilling. You'll hear them playing music with an acoustic guitar. You know, they're just, they're just vibing out, enjoying, chatting it up. They have a chess set out there, so they play chess together. It's really cool. And they're all so friendly. They're always smiling. And, you know, the, the surf lessons are amazing, of course. Our, our instructor has uh, definitely helped us yes. immensely. When you stand up on the board, he's just excited, if not more excited than, than you, than you are. are. So he's just so, such a genuine person. Another uh, big class of Kuta and Legian area is huge variety of accommodation options, from cheap to expensive. Accommodations are pretty much all over the place. Literally like a hundred accommodations on every block. It's yeah. crazy how many uh, yes. different places are because this is one of the most popular tourist areas. Which leads to huge crowds. Yes. A lot of people on streets, a lot of people on roads. Streets lined with, you know, all these different nice shops with this mm -hmm. cute stuff in it. And you'll see just people walking up and down these streets and traffic just jam packed. There's also a mall. The most popular one is Beach Walk Mall. A lot of Western brands, a lot of popular brands, and movie theaters. If you want to shop, and that's a great area to shop. Kuta is very famous for its party scene. Yeah. It is different than party scene in Seminyak or party scene in Changu. Mostly dive bars. Yes. And divey nightclubs. You can find bar in every corner, live music everywhere. It's about what your vibe is. I personally love them. Like a lot of these local bands, they'll let you come up and sing like karaoke style. Uh, so you'll see a lot of amateur singers either yeah. belting out uh, horribly <laughs> or, uh, or you'll hear locals, you know, singing amazingly because it seems like every local here can <laughs> sing incredible. Swing by, have a drink, you know, have a good time. If you like 
dive bars, if you like live music and you know, you're just gonna have a beer, it's for you. But if you're looking for like an upscale cocktail, it's not the scene. But you're, if you're looking for a fun time, good conversation with down to earth kind of people, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> this is where we met our friends. We just went to the dive bar. And when we first came, I was very hesitant because I'm not a big fan of dive bars. It's not my place. But when music started, couple beers were in, and it became fun. Oh, now, yeah. now I'm into that. <laughs> now oh, I'm yeah. into that vibe. But I loved it. I got up there on the first night, did some karaoke with them, yeah. chatted with the band, and they were so friendly. They talked to everyone. Mm -hmm. They're just warm, open, friendly, welcoming, and we Beautiful became... People. We became instant friends. We started following them around to all their shows. They play at all different kinds of venues. Nice hard rock cafe. Which is less of a dive bar. It's like a main scene for good music and good yeah. quality music in uh, in Kuta. A lot of uh, Indonesians there as yes, well. Yes, a lot of domestic tourists mm -hmm. and local people and tourists all over the world. Just, yeah. just having fun, enjoying, yeah. and that's great to just be part of this experience. Yeah, our surf instructor kind of described it as like an interesting mix of tourists and Indonesians that kind of create this unique vibe that is that, Kuta. Yeah. Yeah. There are some cons to this area as well, again, depending on if this is your vibe or not, but just because there are a lot of bars, meaning there are a lot of drunk people, so be mm -hmm. careful. You might hear stories that like phones get stolen or pickpocketing here in this area. So just be careful with your belongings. But I think it's not only in Kuta, it's overall everywhere. Just be careful if you around drunk people. <laughs> just, just common sense. We haven't had any negative experiences, no. but we're not saying that that doesn't exist. So be aware of those things. Staying in Kuta is fine. Be wary that it's going to be loud. There's yes. people are out late. There's a lot of drinking and a lot of traffic yes. and crowds and, and lots of live music on many of the streets mm -hmm. that you're around. So yeah, it's just going to be a different experience than say like mm -hmm. yeah, in the north like or, or even like Uluwatu oh, yeah. is going to be less active crowded. and yes, crowded. Exactly, exactly. The good thing about Kuta is its location. It's right near airport. It's convenient to drive to the south, to Uluwatu, Jimbaran, Nusa Dua. And it's convenient to drive up to, to the north and to the middle of the island. So it's, it's like a hub if you just want to leave your stuff and travel around the island. We still go in there pretty often for shopping, for visiting our friends, to have fun, to surf. Definitely, if you're into this kind of a scene, you'll, you know, you'll have fun. You'll have a lot of fun. Mm -hmm.